Welcome on the journey, Aries. Aries, I'm being guided to get you a postcard from Spirit. Let's look at what the main energy right now is. Okay, one card that's up. Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you, you've heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration means your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on the earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth your efforts, whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. So I feel that this is to do with inspiration right now. So let's take a look. Tell us about this inspiration. King of water, page of water, 10 of water. So a lot of emotions you have about something Aries. And maybe for you, this is, this is challenging for you because there's a part of you that has to open up your heart and mind to those around you and to trust people. And maybe that's not something you're used to. Somebody may have entered your life or you might be beginning a new phase of a relationship, but your, your intuition is really on fire right now. You want a happy family life. You want emotional, your emotional needs to be met. And maybe there's somebody here who wants to get that to you. This Ten of Cups, I mean, this King of Cups. Let's find out a little bit more. The Hermit. Night of Earth and the Lovers. You're trying to not really focus on love right now. You've been just buckling down to get things done. You've been working on maybe getting those chores done around the house, finishing off a project finishing off the school year, whatever you've been doing, you've been very dedicated to that. And now you just wanna spend some time quiet on your own in self-discovery. You might be wanting to travel or maybe you're taking some higher coursework. So love doesn't really factor in right now. All that matters to you is this routine and your health. So you have to decide here whether or not this person can fit into your space. All right, let's get some cards. Someone is obsessed with you. They're really thinking about you a lot. They think that you are something special and they they just think that you're irreplaceable in their life now that they've met you they want to be with you but you're not paying attention to them because you have firm boundaries in place there could be a, a virgo here there could be a gemini involved in the situation maybe it's even a couple like parents here who want your love, your dedication. 
but you've put up some boundaries with these people. They want your support, but have they been there for you? That's one scenario. Another is that somebody wants to be your support and be there for you, but you've put in some boundaries with this person. You're, they're feeling your absence and it's making them realize that whatever they've been doing here to try to affect your emotional well-being, maybe they, they tried to leave you out somehow. There's been a lot of damage done. So there's this needs, there needs to be this decision about a relationship here. Yeah, the lover's card. Do you or don't you? What are you going to do? Let's look a little bit more into this. Someone's afraid to lose you. They had to let you go to find themselves but they can't take it anymore. They've been tr holding back their true feelings for you. They want to be different and they've got a lot of memories that are really painful to them. They're trying to get over. Something really hurts. Somebody is better with their mind than their heart. So one person here, you, I'm feeling Aries is very feeling oriented and this person is more of the earth, the mind, air quality. A little kipper, what do we have? Someone wants to give you a gift. Hmm. They want to share something with you. Courtship. Pathway. Someone wants to take action. They're just trying to think about how to come forward towards you. How to court you how to treat you right, how to build this stable foundation with you. There may be somebody that is concerned with this person coming towards you. Maybe this person is concerned that, well, then again, I see this Lily. So maybe someone has passed away someone older, maybe, maybe somebody received a gift, maybe they received an inheritance. And now this person wants to come forward towards you wants to share their life with you. There's a wealthy man imprisoned in a marriage because they have children with somebody else. Hmm, that's fascinating. They want to express their love to you, but they might not be what you're used to. So you're, you might need to keep an open mind about the situation. There might need to be some compromising in the situation. All right, let's get some. What else do we have? We have denial. Someone's coming out of denial because it's in reverse. So they're no longer scared. They're, they're aware of what it's gonna take to come forward towards you. They're gonna make the first move. Cardinal moon, I wonder what one that is. Don't let your past hold you back. So 
they they've had a lot of restrictions and maybe you've had a lot of restrictions and now they're going to go away from this this these restrictions somehow so how i wonder how they're going to do that how are they going to do that prioritize self-care so you do so much for others it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you so that's what you're being asked to do to have a routine to cooperate to have equal give and take in your life and don't allow anybody else to come into your life and to affect your health your work your routines your self-improvement it's almost over there's something that is has been needing to be dealt with but once it's done this this is going to be resolved someone new is coming so an important new relationship is on the horizon open your mind and heart so that your happiness can enter. Mm. And what else do we have? We have Capricorn. Might be a Capricorn that's coming towards you, Aries. This person is very hard working. They they see you as a person who is a follow through person. They love your energy. They've, they've been very patient here. They're trying to play by the rules, but they're ready to come back to life, come to life, meaning that they've been in, they've been imprisoned in something that was, something that they might've been told that they had to stay in. There's been secrets here. There are secrets. Something hidden in the details here. They can see a positivity in you that lights up their world. You help them to see in color again. They want to get over what they've been through in the past. And they, they, they feel as if you are going to help them see again, feel again, love again. If there is any lesson we have to learn in life very carefully is don't speak until you know what you're talking about. If there is any lesson we have to learn in life very carefully is don't speak until you know what you're talking about. So today, commit to using your words to uplift and encourage others. That is the goal. Giving people kind words is a gift. It will help to unlock, unlock the situation. Fascinating. All right, one more card, let's get. I follow my inner wisdom. I am at peace with my own being. I love myself and trust that I am making the right choices. All right, I hope that helps. I really have enjoyed resonating with you on the journey, sending some love to you on the journey. Take care.